Right, welcome to the second part for stress analysis. This is a bracket and we've isolated it in the first part and we've allocated forces. Next thing to do is go to stress analysis. You can also go to environments, stress analysis, create study, just say OK. And then what we have here is we're going to assign a material. Let's say this material is carbon steel to fix the constraint. I'm going to put a fixed constraint underneath. Of course, this is the part that will be clamped onto a surface where this roller bracket is going to be mounted. The next thing is force that we're going to use a bearing rod. One and two. It's acting in the wrong direction. It needs to act perpendicular or onto the circumference. Use vector components. I am looking for 5 kilonewton. The computer will automatically recognize these as 5 kilonewton forces and apply. These loads will be acted upon right around the cylindrical circumference to be able to get the, the weakest point that will create the maximum stress in the material. Let's go look at the mesh. You can see how large these triangles are. Let's set the mesh a little bit smaller. That's the element size, which is the minimum. And this is the average. Let's make the average a bit smaller. Let's go 0, 0,5. That's half of the previous and say OK. Let's simulate first. Run. Look at the size of the mesh. Our stress there on the inside of our circumference where our shaft fits through is 47.53. Let's go for another run. Leave it as it was originally. 0 0.1 and say OK. Simulate again. You can see the stress has dropped to 42.4. So judging by this, we can see the finer the mesh, the greater the accuracy. We had 0 0.05, let's go 0 0.025. Okay. Simulate, run. The smaller the mesh, the more nodes needs to be calculated. All these little points there is called nodes. Here we are sitting at 51,83 megapascal von Meister stress. Let's go back to the mesh. I would suggest not to go smaller than 1,5. Let's simulate again. Okay, and there you can see that the stress is 51,83, 0 0.025. I think it's a good number to work with. You can go to 0 0.02, but this one is fine. Okay, this is how you change your mesh to be able to get a more efficient answer. Let's look at the animation. Okay, that's what will happen to the load. At that point, it will generate the maximum stress. Thank you very much.